Hello, and welcome to the Africa series book reading. Today we will be reading book one of the series called Love the Skin You're In. This book was written by Cassie and Lawrence, that's me, and illustrated by Patrick Romanowski. We hope that you enjoy. Aria Indy, Afro Kid. There is one thing about Aria. She's a very proud child. Proud to be smart and funny and silly and bold, but most of all proud of her melanin gold. She is proud that her favorite color is pink. She is also very proud of her dark brown skin. She is proud that her best friend is Froby Froly, president of the land of all the Frolies. Aria was not always proud of herself though. She had trouble with loving her brown skin and afro. In a society where being black is a task, with a little help from Froby and Mommy, Aria's black pride grew fast. Pride is only one of the traits her mom had taught her, amongst love, kindness, compassion, and laughter. Of all the traits though, Aria's favorite is love. Love spreads smiles and cheers. It rains from above. Aria thought long about what her mom taught her and decided she wanted to share it with the world. So she came up with the most brilliantly diabolical plan and decided to write a poem about loving the skin you're in for the talent show at school. Aria worked hard all week searching for just the right words but she realized quickly she needed a lot of help. At that moment, she remembered that she had the brightest, most beautiful, strong women in her life, along with Froby, to help her with her poem. Aria decided to take a journey to Grandma Marva's house. Grandma Marva always had the best food and parties, and Aria loved to eat. On the day of the party, Aria didn't know what they were celebrating, but it was fun and everyone was there, so it was perfect. Grandma Megan was there and Grandma Kathy, Auntie Taylor and Auntie Tia, bringing out the food of course, Auntie Ashley and Auntie Aaliyah playing catch, there was Auntie Amora and Auntie Huitzi talking about the feminist revolution and Auntie Felicia preparing her series of workshops for Black Women of Color Empowerment Therapy with a bowl of soup in her hand. Aria didn't know what that meant, but she knew it was very important. Auntie Felicia is a very smart woman. Cousin Steph playing with Cousin Sky, and Auntie Athena being her bold, honest, entrepreneurial self. It was an amazing sight, that's for certain. She gathered them all around and told them her plan. They were all so excited to help. Aria didn't want only black children to love themselves though, because with her big heart, she always thought of everyone. After all, we all doubt ourselves a little sometimes. With some help from Froby and all the powerful black women in her life, Aria was ready for the show. She braided her kinky curls and got ready to go. The night of the talent show, Aria nervous as can be, got on stage, took a deep breath, and began to read. Melanin or no melanin, love the skin you're in. It could be black, it could be white, it could be stretchy or tight. The skin you are in, once it's you, it is right. It could be big, it could be small, it could be short or very tall. The skin you are in, you must always love it all. People are different and that's what makes us super great. Some are kooky, some are funny, some are wild, and some are silly. Some are happy, and some are sad, and some are really, really busy. But that's what makes us all super great. We have black skin and white skin, brown skin and tan skin. Sometimes skins get red in the sun or purple and green when there's a bruise or a bang. Not everyone's skin changes either. That's a silly way to put it. 
But each skin is different and reacts to different things. Our cuts heal differently. Our skin stretches to suit our movements. That's just a skin thing, I guess, Aria says. My mommy told me to love the skin I'm in. And you must remember to love the skin you're in too. The crowd cheered and Aria took a bow. I thank you, I thank you, she was very proud. A standing ovation gave Aria the crowd did. Always remember to love the skin you're in. The end. Thank you for joining us on the Afro Kids series book reading. We hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.